Hello again, preschoolers. And today for our read aloud, we're gonna learn all about how insects move. Hmm. Think about the ways that you can move your body. Do you think insects can move the same way we can? Or do you think they move in a different way? Hmm, why don't we find out? Huh? All right, I'm gonna share my screen. Well, hold on. Since Amanda's gotta get it up first. Here we go. So I'm gonna share my screen for our book. And do all the things. All right, there we go. Can everyone see? Okay, this is called How Do Insects Move by Megan Klopp. Culp? Maybe it's Culp. All right, let's find out. What are insects? Insects are animals without backbones. They have a hard shell-like skeleton that covers the outside of their body. This is called an exoskeleton. Can you say that with me? Exoskeleton. An insect's body is made up of three parts. Do you remember what those are? The head, thorax, and the abdomen. All insects have six legs. That's how you know it's an insect. If you count six legs, more than likely an insect. They all meet at the joint. Their legs come in many shapes and sizes. Most insects also have two antennae on the top of their head and Almost all insects have wings. Why do insects move? All living things move. Some living things can move on their own. Insects move in many ways. Crickets hop, bumblebees fly, caterpillars crawl. Do you run or walk away? If a baseball was coming toward you, towards you. if a baseball was coming at you, would you run or walk? Hmm. When you're excited, do you jump up or do you stand still? Hmm. Insects move to explore their environment. They move to look for food, shelter, or to find someone to have to lay their eggs. Sometimes insects move to keep them from being eaten by predators. Remember, predators are something that wants to eat them. Insects also move to communicate with other insects. That's kind of new. An insect's body is built for how it moves. Grasshoppers have long, strong, powerful legs. Water beetles use their legs to row on the water. An insect's six legs have joints to allow extra movement. Have you ever watched a fly walk? It moves three legs at a time. Flies move the front and the back leg on one side of its body and the middle leg on the other. That way they stay balanced. Nine. Oh. Told us the page number. Winged wanders. Insects who were the first living things to fly. Most insect species have two pairs of wings. Insect wings are thin, but they're strong and insects use their wings to hover, fly, backward and forward. Flight helps them move from place to place to find food. There's our dragonfly. The wings of butterflies and moths are covered with colorful scales. The outer wings of beetles are hard and shell-like. They fit over thin inner wings to protect them. Dragonfly wings don't fold up. They're always ready to move fast and mosquitoes only have one pair of wings. So the ladybug, its wings are actually underneath this hard exoskeleton that has the dots on it. It's kind of cool. Cockroaches are winged insects that crawl instead of fly. Their bodies allow them to crawl very fast. Cheetahs are the fastest mammals and cockroaches move at three times the speed of a cheetah. Wow, I didn't know that. Earwigs are winged creatures that also prefer to crawl instead of fly. They have pincers, remember not pincers, pincers to what are curved claws on the end of their abdomen that they use for protection. They actually are nocturnal as well, just like our cockroaches. Some insects live underground. Mole crickets dig into the dirt to create burrows. These crickets don't need to move fast because there are not as many predators underground. Mole crickets have adapted to their environment. They have large, powerful front legs used for digging. Kind of cool. Being able to jump is helpful in the insect world. Jumping insects can spring away from something that wants to eat them. They can also jump towards something that they want to eat. Crickets, fleas, and leafhoppers are all star jumpers. Grasshoppers can walk and fly, but they prefer to jump away from danger. I did not know grasshoppers could fly. That's actually kind of cool. 
You can skate on water if it's frozen. Water striders skate on water during the middle of summer. Striders are skinny insects with long legs and they have fine hairs on their feet. This helps them break the surface of the water. There are very few insect species that can walk on water. Very cool. Like most insects, water boatmen and back swimmers have wings and can fly, but these like to spend their lives underwater. Remember, they like to take a bubble of air and go under the water and that's how they find their prey. Oh look, it says make a poster to share with your family and friends of what you learned about in how insects move. On a piece of paper, draw a picture of a park. You can add grass, trees, and streams. Then draw or cut out pictures of different kinds of insects, jumping, crawling, swimming, flying, and digging. Place the pictures on the poster and write how each insect moves under the picture. Obviously, we can't do that because we're not quite there yet. This is for a little bit older, right? But you could definitely draw a picture and draw some of the bugs like butterflies and bees. And maybe Miss Amanda will do a video on how we might draw a butterfly with our basic shapes. Remember, all pictures are, are just our basic shapes of square, rectangle, triangle, circle, things like that. All right, so that was the end of our book about how insects move. So insects move a little bit differently than we do, right? They move because they have a purpose, right? They're moving to get food, to get shelter, to find their other insects, right? So insects move by hopping, some walk on the water, some dig in the dirt. They all have wings, but some of them choose to crawl or to hop instead of use their wings, which is kind of cool that they have an option, right? So I hope you enjoyed this and let me know if you draw any bugs or you know what happens if you see any bugs on a walk. Bye.